Google Plus is the new buzzword in social media circles. Here to tell us exactly what it is, is Justin Spratt. He's the CEO of digital ad agency Quirk. Well, Justin, let's start right there. What are we talking about when we put Google Plus into the social media equation? Right. So right from the beginning, Google Plus is like Facebook. It has this stream of, of updates and information. The key differentiating factor for Google is, is the circles, right? And the circles are ways in which you can segment your friends. One of the biggest problems... So you're meaning circles as in networks? As in networks. Google calls them circles. All yeah. right. Well, well, let's just clarify yeah. the terminology. So we're talking about networks of people. Yeah, correct. So uh, one of the biggest kind of debates that's been going on in, in the digital ether about Facebook is that uh, you weren't able to segment your friendships. So if I, if, if, if I did something that was fairly kind of risque, I'd want my close boy buddies to see it, but, but maybe not, you know, potential courtees, you know. The other key differentiator for Google, and, and it's quite interesting, this one, is that Google has made the entire content kept in Google Plus um, essentially accessible by anybody. Um, and it's this drive to have open data. Now, there's this conjecture or this contention in the market at the moment that Google has set up Google uh, Plus in order to get Facebook to open what's called its social graph. Essentially, a fancy word for all the data that Facebook keeps on you, how you interact with your people, your friends, how you do your photos, the location of where you are. Looking at Facebook, 750 million users currently was launched in 2004. Do you think down the line, Google Plus can replace Facebook? Give it a couple of years. You see, my view today is no. And the reason for that is it doesn't offer anything um, yet that is different and beneficial uh, over Facebook. Um, Twitter is a very different social medium. I think, you know, like we we're chatting, it's, it's an asymmetrical social media platform. Um, whereas Facebook and, and, and Google Plus are very, very similar. They're this uh, reciprocal social network or symmetric. Um, in other words, you've got to kind of friend and be friends with the person, uh, whereas Twitter not. Is Twitter under threat, Facebook under threat from Google Plus launched some three weeks ago and 20 million users, if I'm mm. correct? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Listen, despite the growth numbers, uh, the answer is no, not in its current form. Um, this thing, you know, these technical platforms always have massive uplift, admittedly not as fast as, as uh, Google Plus has had, but... Uh, we're going to see still a lot more of that, but that doesn't necessarily mean uh, Twitter and Facebook are under threat. Do businesses need to take Google Plus seriously? Not yet. <laughs> That's a short and sweet That's answer. That's a short and sweet answer. Yeah, not yet. Um, these things are these things are kind of very complicated. I, I suspect Google will change and add features, in which case it'll make it more business relevant. Right now, it's very much a beta, right? So it's kind of kicking the tires on a whole bunch of services. So there's no clarity yet on exactly what it means for business. But there are businesses out there using Facebook. Yes. If they are using Facebook and they've invested in their Facebook pages, yep. do they need to start looking at another social media? Uh, no, not yet. I don't think so. I think, you know, I, I, we need to spend more time making sure we get the, the top social media networks right, like Facebook and Twitter. Um, like I said, the, the kind of goalposts are moving around Google Plus too much right now. Certainly, I wouldn't advise any of our clients to invest in Google Plus yet. We, you're we almost need... insinuating that there's no difference between Facebook yeah. and, and Google Plus. Is that what you're saying, essentially? Yeah, apart from, you know, one user experience um, interface and its open data policy, there really is no difference. Well, there you have it from the expert. You don't need to rush into Google Plus right just yet. That's Justin Spratch. He's the CEO of digital ad agency Quirk.